Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing by Caldercote Lake North in Milton Keynes in Buckinghamshire. Caldercote Lake South is just the other side of that road bridge there. Caldercote Lake is well known for its landmark windmill, which is now a pub on this side and a Premier Inn on that side. But we've come here to have a ride on the Caldercote Miniature Railway, which is just the other side of this uh, rather impressive pub. This is an artificial lake. There is the dam side of it right round over there. So we're going to walk up here and look for this miniature railway. Now the miniature railway we're going to, it's the Milton Keynes Model Engineering Society's miniature railway. I've not been to this one before on this site. I've been to its old site which was over at Dean's Hanger in Buckinghamshire. Dean's Hanger was once on the railway map because there was a tramway from Stony Stratford to Wolverton and in the opposite direction from Stony Stratford it went to Dean's Hanger. It was a steam tramway and one of the tram cars survives in the Milton Keynes Museum, which uh, will have to be subject for another video another day. Um, so that is where the rail used to be at Dean's Hanger, used to be at Country Club. I remember going there, having a ride. You got on the train, it sort of went around the sides of two fields and then there was like a loop at the end. So it was quite a nice little rail. Unfortunately, we don't have any pictures. It was that period between everyone having a digital camera everyone having an analogue camera and I don't think we had a camera at all as a train uh, form. I don't think we had a camera at all at the time. So I've come here today in my larder which is parked there and the railway is literally just behind it. I can hear the train so what we're going to do we're going to go in and have our ride. So here we are here's the station it says to the trains, trains running today and there's like a level crossing now I wonder if I I've got to wait for the train to come across or come on we go through. Oh, the train's just pulling into the station now, so I think I'll be okay to... Can I please? Thank you very much. So let's go and have a look. So it says to the trains, let's just switch the engine off. There's two engines here. There's a turntable as well. So there's a little five inch gauge engine there and there's a larger seven and a quarter inch gauge engine called Hagrid. So let's go and have a ride behind Hagrid.
I really enjoyed my trip on the railway. The train's gone out for another ride. You can see they've got two platform lines, and when we were on the train, we went through on the through line. So you go around twice. You can just see the train is currently over there, making its way around the big curve. So it's like a big oval-shaped miniature railway. And the other feature I particularly like is the bridge over there. And from there, you can see down to the River Ozal Valley. What I'm going to do now, though, we might as well just watch the train pass through the station on the through line. And then I'll take a few line side shots and then I'm probably going to go and have a pint in that pub. And then I'm going to go for a nice long walk to walk it off before going home.
I'm now going for a walk around Codicote Lake seeing as I was here and it's such a nice day. So I've come right around here. There's the windmill over there where we started. So I've been all around this side of the North Lake and what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish the video here but I'm going to continue walking around the South Side Lake. I did have a pint in the pub so I want to walk it off before I drive home. It's very pleasant here. That's the dam over there. So, you know, if you would like to come and visit this railway, it's very easy to get to. I came by car, it's free parking. If you were to come by train, Fenny, Stratford or Bowbrick Hill on the bedford Spletchley line aren't too far away. Um, it'd probably be a couple, a mile or two mile walk along beside the lake. So quite a long way, but you know, pleasant walk. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. Regarding other miniature railways in Milton Keynes, there was one at Willen Lake. Well, I think there still is one at Willen Lake. I went on it as a child, but it's not running at the moment, but it actually runs under a road a bit like this. The other place I can remember visiting a miniature railway as a child was at um, Gulliver's Land, the theme park. It's a children's theme park. And if you have a look at Lincoln Screen now, you can see a very short clip of a train. I uploaded some of our family footage a couple of years ago under my archive series. So that's the other miniature railways there are in Milton Keynes. There's a few others nearish, but we'll do those in other videos. So from Codicote Lake and the windmill, which is now a pub, which has a miniature railway behind it, Reminds me a bit of Fanco, actually, which isn't too far away. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.